In this video, what I want to do is I want to discuss a little bit about physician burnout. So physician burnout is essentially a loss of enthusiasm or enjoyment from the field or profession that you previously loved. So as a physician, this can obviously be kind of dangerous, right? If I start to lose enthusiasm, if I become cynical about my job, I'm taking care of patients and I'm taking care of people's lives. So it's relatively dangerous for me as the physician to feel burnt out and unhappy and losing interest in a field that I previously loved. And at this point, it's well established within the medical community, within the mental health community, that this is a real thing, that this is something that a lot of physicians are dealing with, and there has to be some way to try and start to fix it. And when I was thinking about this, I said to myself, what is the fundamental thing that I believe is contributing to physician burnout? And the one thing that keeps coming up for me is time. And what I mean by time is I mean time away from the job, time away from doing the, doing the things and taking care of patients where you can have time just to yourself to do the things that you love and the things that recharge your batteries. And I think that's missing from a lot of physicians' lives. A lot of times what happens is the best part of yourself leaves in the morning for your job you see patients all day long. You love seeing patients. I think anybody who's a physician does an excellent job in their patient care and does exactly what they need to do throughout the day, but that leaves little left in reserve when you come home at night. And sometimes you're working extremely long hours. You could be doing 24 hour shifts. You could be working long weekend days. You could, you're most likely working six days a week. And all of that contributes to a lack of ability to care for yourself. And I think that's where the time becomes such a big issue because everybody needs time to do things for themselves. They need time to go to the gym, to eat a healthy meal, to kick back with a few friends and have a nice meal at a restaurant, to spend time with family. Whatever it is that helps you to recharge your batteries, you should have at least some time built into your week to do that. And given the demands and the stresses of the job and the pressures to continuously get better, to continuously know more information, to continuously improve your skills as a clinician, that could be overwhelming for anybody. So I would imagine that anyone out there who's not doing some of these self-care things is definitely experiencing some of the symptoms of burnout. Now I myself have, have not felt burnt out at all to this point because I've had the time to care for myself. I have, I make time to go to the gym and do some kind of exercise. I promise myself to move every single day. So I do some kind of exercise every single day and I think that makes a big difference in my life. That's one of the things that is a must for me. Another thing that's really helped me is just having some opportunities to get together with my family, to spend some time with some of my friends, to call some of my friends from medical school and just have a chat about something other than medicine. Because we talk about medicine all day long. That's what we do. And we even talk about it a lot of times when we're outside of the job because that's so much of our identity is, is basically built up in being a clinician and being a doctor. We identify with being a doctor. It's a big part of who we are as people. So it's no surprise that you're going to talk about those things all the time. However, it's important that you spend time doing other things and talking about other things. It's important to laugh, to have some fun, and to just turn off for a little bit and stop thinking about all the stressors and things that are causing trouble in your life. But again, all of that is based on the fact that you need time to do these things. So if hospital systems, if practices want to help their physicians stay well, then they need to be sure that they have some time in their lives to recharge their batteries and to do something outside of their job that helps them to feel better and helps to remind them why they're doing the job in the first place, which I think is to not only treat other people and make other people's lives better, but it's also to make our own lives a little bit better.